The global trading system is rule-based and highly integrated. But in reckless disregard for that, the United States has become a capricious trade bully and turned against the rest of the world. The unilateral and protectionist approach taken by the Trump administration has unsettled global financial markets and put hard-won global economic recovery at risk. According to a UN analysis, a steep escalation in global trade barriers could reduce world gross product growth by 1.4% in 2019 and slow global trade growth by more than 6%. Eroding the WTO-centered multilateral trading system will also disrupt current global trade rules and destabilize the predictable environment that the system provides. The Trump administration is on the verge of breaking up global value chains and hurting businesses and consumers around the world, including those in the United States. U.S. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said, and I quote, The administration says that what it is trying to achieve is lower tariffs. If it works out other ways so that we wind up having high tariffs on a lot of products and a lot of traded goods and services, that could be a negative for our economy. The Trump administration's trade policies are already backfiring. U.S. motorcycle manufacturer Harley-Davidson has decided to move some production out of the country. U.S. electric car maker Telsa Inc. just announced to open its first overseas plant in Shanghai. The Trump administration's efforts to restrain globalization will be doomed by globalization itself. Unilateralism and protectionism, which go against the times, have no record of success, and U.S. trade bullying will be no exception.